So you just bought the Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2 tripod and you're wondering, is it worth it for your YouTube vlogs? And what's my overall opinions of it? You'll find out. So I decided to buy the Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2 because number one, it's the Pixie Evo 2. So what's the difference between the Manfrotto Pixie and the Pixie Evo is that it's ability to hold much more weight because initially the Manfrotto Pixie was able to hold things like your smartphone or a compact camera like a Canon G7X and only held up to two, around 2.5 pounds or around one kilogram. Well, this here can hold up to 5.5 pounds or two kilograms, perfect for your entry level DSLRs and as well as a compact camera with a heavier lens. Instead of a little button, because the Pixie has a button here, you press it and then you can move the ball head, but this one does not have like a push to move. You actually, it's a little twist here and then you can freely move the ball head. And then if, if you want it in the correct position, then you just twist this knob here. So what I like about the Manfrotto Pixie tripod is that it has multiple settings. For example, yes, you know, all of its legs spread out. And the thing is, there's each of these buttons here and you're able to press it and extends and extends not only one and two, but each, there's a little notch here on the side and you can actually extend up to around, I think it said 60 something centimeters, as well as there's also a position from, not only from a tripod mode, but as you can see here, there's also a more flat level. All you do is you move it down a switch and then you're able to pretty much, that is pretty low. And unlike the Manfrotto Pixie, this comes with just this, nothing else out of the package. So I also decided to buy the phone adapter for this tripod. And it's a pretty snug fit. And I'm using a Galaxy S6 and like that, that is not coming out. But the main reason not is I got this not for to have a kickstand, but to be able to put that adapter onto the Manfrotto Evil Pixie. And use this as a backup camera if I'm feeling lazy or not wanting to actually put in or lug around when I'm walking around with a tr heavier DSLR. I can use my phone as a vlogging camera with a better position versus just trying to find some random spot for my phone to set up a good or decent looking shot now. Pixie Evo 2 tripod is that if, if you're a vlogger, if you wanna like travel, this is definitely a tripod that you wanna pick up. But if you're more of like a professional videographer, cinematographer, and you wanna get into like big cinematic production scenes, this might not be a primary tripod for you. You might use this as like a B-roll camera or your secondary camera, but I would still recommend this tripod because it is, pretty budget friendly, not too pricey, and it's pretty simple and easy to use and good to grab, run and gun. So that was my review of it. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Visionary Collective. We all start from nothing, but you can always create something.